हेलो हेलो यस एम आर टॉकिंग टू धर्मेंद्र यस या हाय इट्स गोपाल एफ फ्रॉम सिस्को या या सो लाइक क्विकली स्टार्ट विद कोड जावो या 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 ओके सो व्हाट इज द इमिटेबल क्लास सी इमिटेबल क्लास मींस द क्लास लाइक इफ यू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ दैट क्लास देन कंटेंट स्टेट ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट कैन नॉट बी मॉडिफाइड For example, okay. a string class. A string class is mm-hmm. immutable class. So when we create the object, a string object with some data, then mm-hmm. we cannot modify the contents of that object. So if this uh, facility is supported by any class, we can say that class is immutable class. Okay. So how will you make sure that? Uh, 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 no, I'll put it in another way. Like how will you create immutable class? Yeah. How to write custom immutable class? This is your question. All right. Yes. Yeah. So see, suppose I have imply class with ID, mm-hmm. integer ID, and a string as name. Okay. So mm-hmm. this class I will make immutable. Correct? So, yes. So yeah. First I will declare class as final, so that subclass mm-hmm. would not modify the data. Second, mm-hmm. all the variables of the class I will make private and st- private and final, so it should not be accessed mm-hmm. from outside the class. And final means only one time we can modify the data. we'll write the constructor to update the state of that uh, data and we'll write getter method if you want to access outside but we will not place any setter method inside the class okay so that we can guarantee that class is immutable mm-hmm. so okay that's fine mm-hmm. so okay uh, like uh, consider like, i have a list of employees yeah Okay, employee class contains employee name, age, date of birth, and all other stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to sort it by employee name and employee age. Okay. You want to sort so, by employee name and employee EID. Okay. Age. Employee age. Okay. Like yeah. age okay. is the uh, age is what it is data object or what it is. Yeah, it's integer object. Integer, integer. Okay. Yeah. So we are storing collection of employee object into array list. We can say collection of collection of employee object list of employee we are storing. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Now your question is how to sort by employee ID and employee name or employee years, whatever. Yes. Yeah. So what we will do, we will write two separate comparator class. We can take a class employee comparator by implementing mm-hmm. Java dot util dot comparator interface. Mm-hmm. and if you want you can use generic concept and generally mm-hmm. we will use generics and then what we will do we will override compare to method which takes two mm-hmm. in uh, two object as a parameter if you are using uh, generics means directly you can pass that type of value in comparator method we will access first imply object we will type cast that if you are not using uh, generics you need to type cast in mm-hmm. compare uh, compare method and then you need to get the s name or imply name and then we will call s1 dot compare to s1 sorry s2 mm-hmm. so and uh, uh, to sort that we will call collections dot in collections class they have given sort method uh, it, mm-hmm. it it takes two parameter first is the list object second is your comparator subclass object so that you can call and it will sort as per name If you want as per mm-hmm. age also, so write one more comparator class by implementing mm-hmm. comparator interface. Again, override the compare method and write mm-hmm. the logic to sort that. Okay. In the case of integer, we can use simply minus. We can return uh, imply one dot age minus imply two dot age. That's mm-hmm. it. Okay. So, uh, like uh, as you said, right? We should have a uh, two comparators, and uh, we need to pass the collection dot sort, right? Yeah, yeah. Suppose that um, uh, so basically it will sort uh, either by name or age, right? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, but I am looking like uh, suppose if you have a query like uh, select employees, select all employees. Mm-hmm. Okay, select the all from employees uh, where like uh, you put a Order by name and uh, comma age, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah. it will it will order by both like uh, name as well as age, huh. right? How it same logic order? I want. No, no. Sorry. Uh, using two field, how we can sort at a time? Either we have to sort by name or we have to sort by age. Mm-hmm. No, it won't sort by both. 
both you how, put a occupy both no no how it is possible both how we can sort suppose we have imply starting with name a and there is mm -hmm. nine then their age is 99 again mm -hmm. imply a starting with name b but age is uh, suppose 16 only so how it will sort with both the fields suppose like uh, if you are going to uh, like employee name and employee uh, department yeah. consider yeah. Right? so if you sort it by employee uh, name as well as the employ employment department so mm -hmm. how it will be sorted? so it will sort according to right uh, employee name and um, department yeah department means what is there like a department see generally we will sort based on value or we will sort based on alphabet Either value, if it is a primitive or if it is a string, we will go for alphabets, alphabetical. No, sometimes that grouping will happen, right? And now, second is used for grouping. Yeah, yeah. Uh, department and name, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So, it will uh, put the sending order, then it will start the department. Yeah, yeah. So, similarly, uh, think about, forget about the year, think about the department. Okay. Again, I'm sorting by both, like uh, order by. Uh, name and department. Okay. Auto buy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Same uh, concept. I want to put it in the Java. Yeah, so yeah. what is the logic you are going to write? At a time, both the fields you want to sort. Yes. Hmm. So we will write custom logic again. We are not going to use uh, any compare to built-in method like a department. What value we have stored? I know that string. Uh, okay, this department is a string, and uh, one is first is name. So both are uh, string only. Yeah, both are so string. So what we can do, like this scenario till now didn't come for me, but uh, what we can do uh, in compare method, uh, mm -hmm. we will get uh, imply name. First imply mm -hmm. name. Suppose imply name one, and uh, mm -hmm. we will get imply name two. Uh, mm -hmm. Second, we will get uh, okay. First imply object, second imply object we will get, and we have to sort based on name as well as imply a department also. So mm -hmm. we can write uh, uh, if imply one dot name dot compare to imply two dot name uh, less than. Mm -hmm. uh, less than we can call imply one dot uh, uh, department dot compare to imply two dot department then return mm -hmm. less than is there return some negative value mm -hmm. and then we will use else if in else if we can write the same thing again uh, we will use greater than symbol here we will return some positive value mm -hmm. and uh, third else we will return zero if suppose of author all are same we can return zero I hope this mm -hmm. we can use to sort based on both the field at a time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, okay, like uh, uh, so. What is the difference between hash set and um, uh, uh, linked hash set? See, hash set and linked hash set. Uh, mm -hmm. You can say only one difference is there. Mm -hmm. In hash set, data will be stored based on hash code value of the object. You can call it as random order. We can't say that whatever order we mm -hmm. are storing in the same order, it will not be stored. And mm -hmm. uh, hash set internally using index representation. So searching will be faster. If you are accessing the data more frequently, then we can mm -hmm. go for hash set. Linked has mm -hmm. set data will be stored in the same order added by the user, and linked mm -hmm. has set internally using node data structure. So when you have a requirement to perform insert delete operation, then has set is not good. It is, you, we will go for uh, linked has set. So this is mm -hmm. the main difference. Okay. So and uh, is there any collection where you can store a key value pair and the key has to be in sorted order? Yeah, yeah. It is tree map. Mm -hmm. Suppose if I add the employee object to a tree map. Yeah. So what would be the sorting? Uh, employee object, if you are adding directly, it will give you class cast exception. Okay. So what you have to do, if you want to add the employee object, then your mm -hmm. employee class, see, 
key must be comparable object whenever you are inserting any uh, key inside the tree map that key must be comparable so imply class has to implement comparable uh, interface it has to override compare to method and in that it has to return difference of any field like imply id or imply name or whatever so it will give you the natural sorting order if you want mm -hmm. to like if you want based on name other then you write separate comparator class and while creating tree map object you pass that comparator subclass object okay um so how was done uh, multi threading yeah 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 i worked mm -hmm. so what is the difference between uh, wait and split yeah see uh wait is the instance method of object class java.lang.object class it has three overloaded method wait mm -hmm. without any parameter wait with long millisecond as a parameter wait with mm -hmm. long millisecond and integer nanosecond as a parameter now mm -hmm. slip is the uh, static method of thread class it has only two overloaded method slip with long as a parameter sling with long comma int as a parameter so this is about the method signature as per the work slip method is used to pause the execution of thread for a specified amount of time if you are using mm -hmm. wait also uh, for long or long integer then it will also perform the same task but main difference will come when you are using in synchronized context suppose if your method is synchronized and uh, in that method in the run method or uh, whatever m1 method is there if you are calling slip method and wait method then actual difference will come what will happen okay. when you call the slip mm -hmm. method on running thread then thread will mm -hmm. go to slip state and it will not release the lock of object but in mm -hmm. the case of wait method thread will go to wait state at and immediately mm -hmm. it will release the object lock so that is why wait method is responsible to release the lock of an object so that is why we have to call wait method from synchronized context only but slip method can be called from non synchronized context also okay okay uh, what are the bean scopes available in uh, um, spring yeah spring uh, bean scopes are uh, it is singleton and mm -hmm. uh, prototype it is mm -hmm. request it is session and one more is their global session Five scopes are there. Okay. So, what is the difference between a single thing and the global session? See, global session generally we will not use in this uh, normal spring. It will be used in portlet web application. So, there I didn't work. Uh, mm -hmm. So, about the single thing prototype request session, I know. Mm -hmm. So, what is the difference between prototype and request? Prototype and request. See, request generally will be used in the case of when you are developing application through uh, Spring uh, MVC. Request mm -hmm. means what? Bean object will be created and that will be placed into your request object. So that can be ac accessed in the same request before flushing the uh, response to the client. Singleton mm -hmm. means what? Singleton is the default scope of Bean. Uh, in that what will happen? It will follow lazy loading. Sorry, mm -hmm. it will follow aggressive loading means at mm -hmm. the time of uh, spring container startup it will create the bean uh, mm -hmm. object and that will be uh, served whenever you call the get bean method so only one object mm -hmm. will be created and that will be reused again and again okay uh, only one object okay now what is the difference between uh, prototype and um, this one request prototype and request yes prototype will follow uh, lazy loading mm -hmm. how many times you are uh, uh, calling the get bin method when a new object will be created and that will be returned okay mm -hmm. and uh, in the case of request uh, i think request and session both we can use in uh, uh, in combination with uh, prototype and singleton also I hope so. Mm -hmm. So you don't know the actual uh, difference. Ah, uh, actual difference I'm not getting uh, between prototype and request. Request mm -hmm. generally will be used to uh, store that data. Uh, yeah, like uh, mm -hmm. bin bin object we can store and that data we can populate to the client uh, on JSP space. 
and prototype i think i we can't use for this purpose mm -hmm. request will be used to we can say to hold your data from uh, your server to the client mm -hmm. okay so what is the lazy loading method mm -hmm. lazy loading means like uh, see uh, we have a customer class customer mm -hmm. class having one customer id and uh, one customer name and one list of addresses list of address mm -hmm. class object is there as a uh, field so whenever we are loading the customer if we are following uh, if if we are following lazy loading then what will mm -hmm. happen only cid mm -hmm. and cname related data will be stored in the hibernate runtime mm -hmm. system whenever we will okay. call get address method customer dot get address then it will take mm -hmm. the data for that address is related or if you are following any inheritance mapping then whenever mm -hmm. you are loading super class then it will not mm -hmm. load all the subclass related object whenever you require that time it will return through proxy object okay what are the what is the cascade attribute cascade attribute will be used if you are like suppose if you have parent child relationship one table we have that contains primary key and another table which contains foreign key so mm -hmm. suppose if you are deleting the record or updating the record of parent table parent table suppose you are deleting mm -hmm. one record from the parent table suppose implies there there some address related information we have stored in address table so if mm -hmm. i am deleting the data from the imply table first i have to delete that data from the address table related data in place of that we can uh, instruct the hibernate runtime system you do it automatically whenever i perform the operation on main table you perform the related operation on child table automatically so for that purpose we can use cascade mm -hmm. so what are the values for cascade cascade uh, cascade none is there cascade read is there cascade read read write is there mm -hmm. okay Okay, sir. Man, sir. So I'm done. So do you have any questions? Yeah. Like, uh, if I got selected, what type of project we have to work upon, and what are the next round of interview I have to attend? Okay. So if you are selected, uh, like uh, there will be a one more round of interview. Okay. Uh, face to face. Yeah. Okay. So that uh, there will be a manager round. Yeah. So. Okay. Sure. Thank you. Okay, bye. Good night. Okay, good night.